Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com for all your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at how we can create a task with the S series Varios. We go to the short menu with the bottom knob again, and we've seen before McCready and Ballast. Now we can start the task, we can edit the task. If we have a saved task, we can load it. We can save a task we've created, we can delete a task. We can export it to the SD card. And then we have the wind we've seen previously and the layout we've seen previously as well. And important for some things is the event mark here. Some competitions are now using event marker controlled starts. So getting to that event would post an event into your IGC file. So we're going to go here to edit task. The first thing that we want to do with the task is we want to put in the time. If it's an area task or a mat, then we need a time. If it's an assigned task, you don't need a time, but I like to put a challenge time in for myself. So for example, if I know it's a 300 kilometer task, I might put in three hours to uh, encourage me to complete this at 100 kilometers per hour. So edit these fields, bottom button, push to edit, and then we can scroll through to change the time in 15 minute increments. You can see the bottom button does 15 minute increments. The top button does 15 increments the other way. So a couple of options on how we edit any of these. Enter. Now we'll go to the first field. And in this first field, what we want to do is we want to insert a point. So what we're going to do here, so we're going to select our turn points in groups of first digits. So all of the zero turn points will be in this grouping. We want 58. So I'm going to go up to the fives. So there's the fives. There's my 50. And I'm going to go backwards two clicks to 58 instead of forward eight clicks to 58. So we're going to start at rock and we can see an S on the first turn point for start. Then I want to insert a new point and I'm going to go to, uh, let's say, turn point number one. So there's turn point one. I'm just going to enter there. And because it's one, I don't need to go, I don't need to rotate because that's just going to take me to various waypoints. All I have to do is hit enter, and now I'm going to turn point one. Right now it says it's the finish. It's only the finish because there's no intermediate turn point. As soon as I go here and I insert another one and this time I'm going to go to turn point two and press enter. So now you can see that the middle one has become turn point one and the last one has become the finish. So we're going to enter one more in here and we want to go back to our start point of 58. So up to our fives, backwards two to 58 and there's our task. So that's a 440 kilometer FAI triangle. So perhaps my three hours up here is a little bit optimistic. So let's make that uh, up to four hours. That would be 110 kilometers per hour. That's a reasonable goal. So we'll set that. So there's our task all set. The other thing that we need to do is we need to set the zone for each of our waypoints. There's a couple of ways we can do that. The first is within this menu, we can come down here to zone and we can change each one. For the start, I want it to be next. It needs to be straight out to the first turn point. So we'll leave that at next. We want this to be a full circle. We can see if I use the knob, it's going up by half degree increments. That's a little bit slow, but these buttons allow us to jump through the standard 45, 90, 180. So we're going to take that up to 180. We're going to enter to accept that. The radius, I want to take this up to 5. If I press the top button, I can get 10, 15, 20. And the lower one will give me 0.1 increments. So I want this to be 5 kilometers. Angle, and we'll press enter now. Don't need any of those. So we are done with this. There's no obvious exit from this. So we use the middle button to exit. Now we go to turn point one and same thing. We'll go to zone. And for this, I'm happy to leave this as FAI sectors. 
So I'll just leave that as is. If we wanted to make it a circle, again, we'd go to our angle here, enter, and we'd increase our angle to a full circle and change our radius down to whatever the rules suggest it should be. Enter there, exit. This one is going to be an FAI sector. I'm going to leave that one as a sector. Then we're going to come down to the finish and we're going to change the zone for the finish. So the zone for the finish, we're going to make this a line. So we just come down here, put a check mark in line, and then we need to adjust the radius. It's usually a thousand meter line. So we're going to set that to a half kilometer radius. Accept that and exit out of there. So now we have our task created. We'll exit out. We'll go up to our page. And if we zoom out, we can now see our triangular task on the screen. Instead of editing the zones on each task, there are some default zones that you can get to. And that's right here on the setup menu under observation zones. What I usually like to do if it's a contest is I set it to what I expect the task will be generally. So we'll go into observation zones and for the start point, we'll set a default. Instead of having the default being this 45 degree sector that we never use in North America, I'm going to set this to what the contest is always going to use. We're going to set that to our full circle and they said, I'm going to put this up to five kilometers. U.S. rules, that would be five miles. We'll back out of there. The point zone, we'll enter that. We want it symmetrical so that it's bisecting our inbound and outbound leg. We want the angle to be a full circle. We can set our radius here to whatever the task sheet is going to call for. Let's say this is an area task, so I'm going to set this up to 20 kilometers as the radius. Now we have an option to do an automatic change to the next turn point or not. If it's an area task, we don't want it to automatically advance us to the next turn point in the task. So I'm going to leave that disabled. Now we'll back out to the finish zone and we'll go in here. We will set this again to be our full circle with a two kilometer radius and if we do two nearest and we enable that you can see the line moves to the edge of the cylinder so that's actually navigating us to the edge of the cylinder not the center of the cylinder and that's what we want for contests so setting those defaults means any time that you enter a task the zones are automatically going to mimic what we had set to those defaults. Instead of having to edit every one separately, now we know our start and finish are good, and it's just the waypoints that we might have to adjust the cylinder size. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email, and visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.